you're going to do um, a Willie Dixon tune for us, and I don't want to sort of hold you up, but I, I have to ask you, Rob, uh, I mean, surf music and the blues, is there any point of contact at no. all when it comes to drumming? Do you do the same thing? Oh, if... absolutely, Andrew, yes. In fact, um, in another band I'm lucky enough to play in the Backsliders, on their last Backsliders album, there's a, there's a blues surf song <laughs> called The Duke. It refers to Duke, who obviously... Who, uh, come on... Duke, uh, I'll, I'll be able to pronounce his second name someday, Kahanamoku, yeah. who brought surfing to Australia right. at Freshwater Beach, early part of last century. And um, the, the surf drumming that was introduced with those surf bands in the early 60s um, worked remarkably well with, with Dom's song about the Duke, because Dominic Turner as well grew up surfing in the southern beaches of Sydney, while members of Midnight Oil and now The Break were... Um, we're throwing ourselves into Manly and Harbord and Narrabeen. So um, all, of these, all of these styles actually work remarkably well. In fact, I would, I would argue, contentiously, that it's, it's by creating these new hybrids that keeps it really fresh and interesting. There's nothing wrong with putting country, blues, rockabilly, surf, trance, whatever. You know, we could probably leave death metal out, but um, all of Aww. these... Gotta put that in. Although the next breakout might be death metal, surf, country, but it's it's by um, what's really intriguing is throwing all these rather um, disparate styles together and see what you can come up with. Because although some of the stuff we're playing today sounds probably quite um, faithful to the original, um, what the break's doing and what we'd like to do in future is to take the idea of surf sci-fi music that we heard first when we were growing up in the 60s and move it somewhere else. Okay, but I don't imagine you're going to be able to fit a theremin into uh, I'm the Little Red Rooster. A theremin can be played in, at any time over, <laughs> over anything. <laughs> and particularly if the theremin player then gets his hand on the mix, that it'll just be theremin and you'll hear a band in the background. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's listen to I'm the Little Red Rooster, the Willie Dixon song. Ain't been no fun in the farmyard 
Since my little red rooster's been gone Going on there. Yeah, yeah. Fantastic guitar playing. It's good when you don't know what you're doing. Yeah, yeah. Oops, sorry. It's sort of the thing of kind of knowing it but not knowing it too well, but at least yeah. you're going to know it a bit. Yeah. <laughs> Turn it on the little headphone there for a second. Yeah. Oh, that's rocking here. Yeah. I can tell you. Yeah, more of that. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> so what did they do? Just lose the next verse after that, because that this was a bit, a second, bit of a dead spot. This is the second take. Oh, no, no take first one. Take. Back, yeah. yeah. So I'm trying to make sense of what the Phil can yeah. do. What, what are we doing? Yeah. Yeah. Phil's got to, we've got to clear out for the next gig. Yeah. Oh, okay. and they, yeah. Yeah, got to right. So I think... Um, so your solo would finish, then we'd cut... I would just suggest, all I was just saying, after the first song, on the first take, use the first take up at the end of the solo, and then cut the second take at the end. Oh, to the end. Okay. Yeah, that's good too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I think that's better. Or, uh, uh, well, that might create tempo problems, doesn't it? Probably. And if it's, it. it's going to take up a lot of time, because you haven't got a lot of time, just run which we did one best. Well, the second one, I think. Yeah. Had the right ending and the right so You're, you're, you're on now, aren't you? Uh, well, I'm, yeah, but I'm not sure. We, yeah. Of the first take that you did, what do you yeah. want to keep of it? I know okay, the solo. So, yep, yeah, solo. Yeah. Well, that'll do it probably. And so you've actually put that in the second I know. I've. Uh, I've I've copied it. Yeah. If I do it over here. Yeah. Because it sounded fine in the first one.